Good morning guys, today we are heading out another day tour which is pretty exciting. We're going snorkeling and yeah, basically spending the day on the boat. It's currently 6.30am, we're just waiting up the front for our bus to pick us up and I think we've got about an hour drive to Sanoa and then we I think catch a fast boat over to uh, the island and then get on a little boat to kind of go snorkeling all day and I'm stuck at four points and I've got them here. So we go to Manta Bay, Galmet Bay, Crystal Bay and Wall Bay and it includes like lunch um, and yeah basically just spend the day on the boat, hopefully get to go off onto the islands a little bit and um, hopefully see some manta rays as well. So yeah very excited, um, I love doing day trips and just like exploring new places so very keen for this. thing was honestly amazing that also blew my mind like I thought it'd be good but and it was at the start we stopped at four stops with the rest of our big group um, and we saw a manta ray which was pretty rare I think because we all got in snorkeled around and he's like oh there's none here so we like hopped back in the boat and then he kept driving a bit and then it was like oh my god everyone jump in quick 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 so we were like put on our gear and quickly jumped in the water um, and we actually saw the manta ray I've got some footage on my GoPro so I'm keen to go through that I haven't even looked yet um, I've been so busy but Keen to go through that and have a look because yeah it was awesome so so big but it's actually safe to swim in them because they don't have like a st they have the long kind of um i guess you'd call it a sting but they can't actually sting you or hurt you so not like stingrays so yeah that was very very cool um i actually ended up getting seasick like motion sickness which i don't know if it was like partially from the snorkels as well just like felt a bit panicky having them on i haven't really done it in ages so you kind of just like Get how to breathe properly because you can't breathe through your nose and then like i don't know and just the goals like fogging up a bit um but anyway it's all good so i did the first two stops and then there was two more which i just stayed in the boat because i just didn't feel quite right um but those two were mainly just like coral anyway and then we went back had lunch and most of the group then went to do the car bit with which is where you go see like i think it's noosa padina that really famous um beautiful beach that's on panita island uh, but we decided we just wanted to do snorkeling for the whole day, so we had lunch, which was included. You could just choose between me going or nazi going. And then we went back out on the same boat, and it was just us five, so that was awesome, because it was like a private boat. Um, just pretty much told them like what we wanted to do, so he took us to a nice spot. And we saw two turtles, and like actually swam with one. Like I was literally swimming above it. Um, so I think got some really good footage of that too. 
Uh, we saw little Nemo fish and these blue starfish, which were everywhere, and they were massive. And then like all these amazing different coloured fish. It was really, really good. Um, but I did take a tablet that I asked the guide because I was like, I am getting seasick. Like, do you have anything for it? Because I didn't bring anything, which I don't normally get seasick, so it was weird. Um, but that tablet definitely helped because after that I felt really, really good and actually slept on the bigger ferry on the way home. We all did. I think we were pretty buggered. Um, got a bit sunburnt, but anyway, <laughs> it was a really, really good day and definitely impressed me. And I did research it, but I must have like maybe misread it or like like le low tide was a couple of hours ago, but high tide's not still for quite a while. But anyway, the sign up saying you can't cross because of high tide, and honestly, the waves are huge, so I wouldn't really want to risk that. <laughs> but it is closed. But it's actually beautiful out here. I think I'm gonna stop and have a juice because like the tables here by the ocean and have the best view. It's so nice. So we're gonna explore, do a bit of shopping, um, yeah, see what else is here, and we don't fly out till. The flight doesn't leave till 11 p.m. tonight, so we don't have to leave until about 7 uh, for the airport, so we've still got kind of the whole day. So these are offerings that the Balinese put out to create balance between hell, earth, and heaven. And you see them literally on like every street, every corner, every road, every building, they're everywhere. And often a lot of the times with um, food as offerings as well. So we're just going exploring, we followed some random path, and we're hoping that there's no like pythons around. There's been so many snakes around this temple. And a lot of people like holding snakes to get photos as well, but apparently there's actually a lot in the wild as well. And actually on the Tanalot temple, there's poisonous ones around the base. The sand colour here is so dark, it's literally like Casey, those black sand beaches. Very, very cool. Typical prices in Bali. This one's probably maybe a little bit more expensive than some other places, but for the starters, spring rolls three dollars fifty, um, calamari seven fifty, curry seven fifty, and then you've got burgers and sandwiches. They're all like seven dollars fifty or ten dollars fifty. Pizzas are pretty cheap, like four dollars, five dollars, six dollars. Um, nasi goreng and mee goreng are always like the cheapest thing on the menu, like three dollars fifty or four dollars fifty. And it's always a massive meal with like egg as well. Um, and then usually like the fresh fruit juices, so that's three dollars, but it's like freshly made, freshly squeezed, so yes, very cheap overall. So this is Circle K, they are everywhere, little like mini marts. So unfortunately our time in Bali has come to an end, the week has absolutely flown, but honestly Bali has impressed me so much more than I thought it would. Um, not that I had low expectations, but I just kind of thought it would be very touristy, lots of Australians, just like drinking and by the pool, that sort of thing. But honestly, we did lots of day trips which were amazing and yeah, everything was just honestly just better than I expected, so very, very happy. Um, it's been an amazing trip, even though it was only a week, I definitely spent like three months here I reckon, exploring everything. Um, so we're just going to head out for dinner now and then head to the airport. We're expecting pretty big delays because on the way here we had an hour and a half just waiting in line, immigration, that sort of thing. So allowing for lots of time and traffic on the way to the airport as well. Um, but yeah, if you have any specific questions or anything about Bali, leave them in the comments. I can do specific videos like Q&As on like costs of things in Bali and that sort of thing. So let me know and if not, I'll see you in the next video.